Stunning arrest in a child pornography ring. Fontana police say it involves thousands of videos and images of children. Tonight, the man behind bars is the Buena Park School Board President. CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely is live with details and reaction. Michelle? Rick, shock, disappointment. Lots of families here in Buena Park are worried tonight. And right behind that locked door right now, the school board is meeting to discuss this in private session. How, and how does anybody feel when you hear that? You know, it's heartbreaking. Never in a million years did the former sister in law of Buena Park School Board President Brian Chambers think he'd be caught up in a criminal ring alleged to be distributing child pornography on the internet. Twice elected, Chambers now leads the district and it's 5,900 kids. How does he look to you in that photo? Well, he doesn't look happy, obviously. This is Chambers' mugshot taken after he was arrested on the front lawn of his home Wednesday. Officials say this is where they also seized a device containing thousands of pornographic images and videos of children. I can't really understate it. It's, uh, we're all shocked by this news. We're disappointed, obviously, uh, but uh, more and more we're actually angry about it. Greg Magnuson is the Buena Park School District Superintendent. It wasn't until he got a call this morning from Fontana Police Police saying they'd been investigating Brian Chambers and others for allegedly trafficking child porn and that he was under arrest. Magnuson says he shared the news about the board president with staff and parents who were worried about their own kids. This investigation has gone on for about six months, as I understand it. Neither Fontana Police or Boynton Park Police Department have been in direct contact with the district. And so uh, we don't believe that there is any relationship to our students uh, for Mr. Chambers' actions. I'm going to call the meeting to order. At 5 o'clock, Chambers' colleagues on the school board called a special closed door meeting to talk with the district's lawyer about potential litigation as a result of the board president's arrest. And back live now in Buena Park, the school board has just emerged from that closed door session. We don't know what we will be hearing from them, but we understand there will be a very brief statement. Uh, as an elected official, Brian Chambers was never alone with children when he visited any of the seven campuses in the district. And the superintendent says that if Brian Chambers does bail out, he will be asked to avoid visiting any of those campuses or attending any school uh, at school events. That's the latest live in Buena Park. I'm Michelle Gialli. Back to you.